here's our IoT network diagram. And looking at this diagram, uh, we see all the different parts of the diagram. We see the people that are involved. We see the admin app that's up here at Glitch. We see the Firebase over here, and we see our PLC devices here. Um, what we're going to do now is focus on the connection between the Firebase and the PLC. So this is where we're going to be putting our attention right now. Let's take a look at this device. This is our ESP8266 Node MCU. It's a type of board that we can program some software for uh, that's going to be running right on that device. Uh, we can call that uh, software that we're making actually firmware since it's running on the device itself right on the metal of the device. It's not running in an operating system. Over here we're connecting to the Firebase. And when we connect to the Firebase uh, we are going to periodically have our ESP8266 every two seconds, a matter of fact, it's going to call out and it's going to get the value of a variable that's stored on the Firebase. And that variable is going to be called buzz. Uh, and we're going to get the value of that variable and we're going to check to see if that is true. If it's true, we're going to buzz the buzzer. So let's take a look uh, for a second in the actual Firebase. So in the Firebase, we have a share section. Make this a little larger. So in the Firebase, we have a share section. And in there, we have a variable called buzz. And you can see the value is currently there as false. Let's take a look at the code next. In the code, every two seconds, and that's what this 2000 refers to, every two seconds, we get the value of that variable. And that's how we do it right there. We get the value of the buzz variable from the Firebase with that line of code. And then we check to see if that value of the buzz variable is true. If it so happens to be true, we buzz the buzzer. And then we have a special function down here that does the buzzing. So here's the buzz buzzer function. What it does is it calls a tone function, which sets the frequency of the buzzer, in this case at 2000 hertz, and then it sets for how long we want the buzzer to buzz, in this case, one second or 1000 milliseconds. So this line of code buzzes the buzzer at a frequency of 2000 hertz for 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. Now frequency describes how high the note is that it buzzes at. So if you have a higher frequency, it'll be a higher sound. If you think of it on a piano, it would be a higher note on the piano. A lower number right here would refer to a lower sound. And then the higher number here will make it buzz for a longer period of time. A lower number will make it buzz for a shorter period of time. And that's basically how that works. Now, once we have our connection established, we can go to the database and then just manually change this value to true. In other words, just go right in there and type in true. And if we do so and hit enter, then we would expect our buzzer to detect that, to run the buzz function, provided our circuit is connected properly. We have demonstrated the connection between our PLC device and the Firebase. And that's what this is all about. We're just trying to illustrate that connection, get confirmation that it works.